Hi guys, so this is actually my first YouTube video and for this video I'm going to try and do something pretty cool which is show you how you could become a DJ within six minutes and I'm going to do this while at the same time not requiring you to get any uh, additional hardware beside your PC nor pay for any software so you don't have to pay for any software or hardware and uh, you can be a DJ by listening to this six minute video. So I've broken down the process into nine steps. Some are simple, some are a bit more complicated, but it's not too bad overall as you will see. Step number one, install Virtual DJ. So just Google it, download it, install it. It's a software that you'll use to make things happen and to DJ it's pretty easy to use, pretty cool, has uh, some good features. Second step, get some songs. Um, for this, I'm to, to illustrate the basic DJing process, you'll need at least two songs. So get two songs. What I'm going to show you now is, is, is a process where at least I'm applying it to two house songs. So if, if you're into that, that's probably best. I'm not sure how things will work out if you get other types of songs. But at least uh, look. But a key thing to try and do ideally is to look for songs that are longer, at least ones that have in their name the words club version or possibly extended version which tells you it's there they are more suitable for DJing than the normal songs definitely don't get ones that say radio edit get ones that say club version extended version or something along those lines and are typically a little bit longer third step launch virtual DJ well that's difficult fourth step once you've launched Virtual DJ, you want to find your songs. You'll be able to select your songs from here by going through your folders. So let's say I pick this folder or that folder. The song appears here. Uh, once the, I see the name of the song, then I can just drag it to one of the decks. I can drag it to the left deck or to the right deck. So we want to find your first song, put it on the left deck, find your next song, drag it to the right deck. And with that, you have your two songs loaded. Now, the fifth step first step is I want to make sure the two songs are going at the same tempo for you to be able to mix songs in a nicely such that they sound good together they should be going at the same speed the way to do this is that you just push a button the sync button I can either push it here to get this song to be at the same speed as that one or push it here to get this song to be at the same speed as that one so I'm gonna push sync here and this will change the speed from 130 beats per minute to 128 beats per minute so that it matches this song you'll see now step number six step number six is that um, you want to move the crossfader this is the crossfader to whichever side you want to you want your song your current song to be playing so let's say we're gonna get started with uh, the song bleeding heart I'm gonna move this crossfader towards the left so that any so basically my speakers will only um, make this deck audible we only listen to this deck so even if i was playing both you'd only hear this one because the crossfaders on the left mean all the sounds coming from the left now the seventh step is that we play our song play our first song now the song is starting to play now of course our, our goal is going to be to simply transition nicely into the next song so which leads me to my eighth step basically you're gonna wait until the first song is has just a minute or less to go and it's that at that point that you want to play the next song however you don't want to play the next song completely random point you want to try and play it such that if you see here look at the lights here see this blue light that's constantly moving the red light would also be moving if you were playing the song your goal is that you want to get these two lights to go at the same to be in sync the way to do that is that you want to press play on this song when the blue is on the same location so it's it would be on the fourth beat each one of these positions represent a beat so one two three four so once it gets here you press play and instantly after pressing play you want to press the sync button this will ensure that these will go together at the same speed even if you you miss it you're off by a beat or two it's not a big deal you can just press stop and then try again and because as since we have the crossfader here it's not a big deal you, people won't hear what you have going on until you decide to move the crossfader to the right so it's not about it's, it's okay if you don't get them to sync instantly 
So to illustrate this point, I'm going to just speed things up and move this song all the way towards the end until there is only about a minute left. So now I'm going to see if I can get them to match. So I'm going to try and play this song such that the red and blue match up are in sync. And then I press sync. So I just did that. I press play, press sync. Notice they're going at the same speed. Now the finally the last step, step number nine, I just move the crossfader slowly towards the right. I'm just dragging it. And now I'm fully into the next song. And I had a transition between the two songs. Of course, I could have prolonged it a little bit longer. But now I've just had a nice transition to the new song. And that is that. You've just learned to DJ within six minutes.